Welcome, welcome, welcome to the floor of ITW 2024. We are broadcasting live streaming. This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for all things digital infrastructure. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO of JSA. And welcoming here today with us is Will Scott, the Vice President of Sales for Telehouse Europe. Will, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Of course, Telehouse, a brand that we've known and loved for many, many years. I hear congratulations in order, 35 years. It is, yeah, big three five this year. That so, is huge. Yeah. Yeah, and when you think 35 years, not a lot of people in our industry can say that. It's, it's yeah, we, I mean, we were the first, so we, we have to be the oldest. Yeah. But, uh, but the, the crazy thing is, not just that we've been around for 35 years, but our customers have been with us for that period of time. Oh. So London Internet Exchange is their 30th anniversary of being with Telehouse this year. Oh, so okay. another big party later in the year as well. Links. Yeah. All right. So for those who aren't like us and have been in the industry for a while, can you tell a little tell us a little bit about Telehouse? Sure. So Telehouse is the original collocation company. So we we started in uh, in Docklands and in, in from a European perspective and we were very much the carrier hub. And that's pretty much the model with Telehouse in general. We're hyper connected. So our London campus is the most connected campus in the world. And when you look around the rest of the world, into France, into the US, around into Asia, the one common theme is connectivity, connectivity, connectivity. That's right. That is right. All right. So what kind of work is Telehouse doing to its very, its newest now, but largest uh, data center in London? Yeah, sure. So we've got five data centers in London. Our fifth and newest is, is Telehouse South. Um, interestingly, I guess in a, in a time of being green, what we've actually done with South is we've taken an old data center building nice. and we are completely refreshing it. So the only thing that will still be there is the structure. But all the M&E, everything's being replaced. So we are, I guess, taking a 1990 building and turning it into a 2020s data center. I love that. Um, so we have two floors coming additionally live uh, in a couple of months' time, which is on a further 5.4 megawatts of power, which is pretty unusual in central London for that amount of power to become available. So we see lots of interest, um, but it's definitely uh, it's something we're moving through the building, taking out the old, putting in the new, and making it super efficient from that perspective. And of course, what you're talking about is recycling at the core of sustainability. What other what other sustainability initiatives are you uh, undertaking? So, so we are a signatory of the uh, Data Center Carbon Net Neutrality Pact, mouthful. Um, and basically what that does is we've committed that by 2025, we wouldn't build a data center with a PUE of higher than 1.3. Um, but more importantly, by 2030, we wouldn't operate a data center with a PUE of higher than 1.3. Well done. Now, we've been doing this for 35 years. Our new data centers are designed to 1.24, etc. Our older data centers, we have to bring right up to speed. So we're working through the estate. We're replacing older chillers with new chillers that don't use any water. We're doing all we can to head in the right direction, not just for us, for our customers, I guess from a, 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 a DC environmental perspective, but I guess for the planet, for our children, etc. Yes, uh, absolutely. We talk a lot about it in our Greener Data Volume 2 book on how our data centers and networks within are getting greener from all, all parts of the world. So we got to get a telehouse perspective in Volume 3. Yeah, abso sure. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we are, we're very proud of the work we're doing. Um, it's, it's an integral that we have to juggle keeping data centers live and operational whilst we refresh them and bring them up to speed. Yeah. But um, Telio South, was it, I, whether it was, it was a conscious decision or whether it just happens to be maybe good fortune, but the fact that we haven't expended any concreting, any, any of the construction costs that you'd have in data center, we're reusing what was there to start with. So that's a, that's a great start as well. Great start for sure. Will it is a pleasure to chat with you and to catch up on the latest and greatest from the leaders of our, in our industry, Telehouse, of course. Thank you so much for being so generous with your insight and time on day two of ITW 2024. We so appreciate you. That's great. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I'll see you at 25. You betcha. <laughs> and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to us as we stream live off the floor of ITW. Stay safe, guys, and happy networking.